Welcome to another edition of Achievement College, my step-by-step -step guide to getting you that gamer score. This is Aussie Gamer 17 and this is my video guide for the Gun Runner achievement here on Halo Infinite. Now I want to show you when you need to do this because this is very missable guys and you need to do this during your campaign playthrough. You'll uh, eventually come to a mission called the uh, Excavation Site. No, don't worry about the Excavation Site, sorry. That will lead you to the mission, the Spire. Once you go into the Spire and start that mission, you're not going to be able to fast travel back to any of these areas for a while. Uh, you're going to do the Spire and at the end of that, without spoiling too much, you're going to end up here in a section called Pelican Down. That's going to be your mission and your objective is to destroy these three gun batteries. One there, one there, and one there. That's actually the order that we're going to do it in. To get the gun runner achievement, you need to do it in under 20 minutes, and I'm going to show you how. All right, guys, what you want to do, the first step is to get ourselves a ghost or some form of vehicle. Now, every time I've come to this area of the map, there's going to be some enemies here and a enemy riding around on a ghost. So make sure you find a ghost in this area. You see him just over there. We're going to go and commandeer it. Now, it's important to note that the 20 minute timer does not start until we destroy the first gun. So we can take our time in this area, but the first thing we're going to do is grapple onto the ghost and take it for ourselves and then take care of the enemies. I'll uh, join you back. Uh, at, I'll skip the video ahead until I've taken care of these enemies and we're going to go attack that first gun. Okay guys, here we are approaching the first gun. We're going to do them in a very specific order. Two reasons for that. Number one, this uh, first gun battery is guarded by two, uh, what, do you, what do you call, hunters. And we need to take them out in order to take care of this gun. And that can take some time. So that's one of the reasons we're doing this one first. And then getting from gun battery to gun battery is easier if we do them in this specific order. Okay, so what we're going to do is just head up and approach this first gun battery. Don't really need to worry too much about the enemies along the way. What is going to be important is that we don't get our ghost destroyed. So we're going to take it up here and we're going to park it in a very specific place. And that is just underneath here, round about here somewhere, and we're going to hop off. Then we're going to run inside this cave. And we're going to see these two hunters here. We're going to run past them. And we're going to run around the back of the cave. If I don't get lost. And we are going to grab a rocket launcher. We're going to use this to take care of our two hunter buddies. There we go. Come on, do your little move on me. And there we go. Now we can just take out everyone else just to make things a little bit easier. Who else we got? You. Oh, I missed him. And we've got a sniper up there that I'm not going to worry about. Alright, now that we've sort of uh, got some clear air here, what we need to do is turn the grav lift on. So that's this button here. That's it. And then head up the grav lift. And shut this gun down. Not going to worry about that sniper. Alright, once you push this button, guys, we need to destroy the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the core that shows up. And once we destroy that, that's when the time is going to start. I'm going to skip the cutscene. The core is going to show itself. I'm going to throw a grenade in there. Destroy that, and then jump out. And onto our ghost. Oh, I got hit with a grenade right there. That's not good. Okay. Now that I've got my ghost back, hopefully it can uh, repair itself. We're just going to mark the next tower. That's the next tower we're going for. And it's actually pretty easy to get to from that first tower that we did. And it's easy by just following the main road. 
Good thing that we're going to this second one because there's usually another ghost there because I actually had to do some uh, fair bit of damage to this one, didn't I? Anyway, just follow the main road up this way and we'll work our way to this second tower. But yeah, I am playing on easy to get this done because this is the save file I'm using to find all the collectibles for my full 100% collectibles guide. Why am I getting these achievements popping? Oh, because I splattered an enemy with a ghost. Okay, that is not the first time I've done that. Uh, now, where are we going? We're going to try and get up here to the battery gun. Come on, game. Yeah, the achievements when I recorded this are all a bit sticky. When you're here, get out of the ghost. Go push the button. What I'm looking for while I'm doing this is another enemy with a ghost. Hey. There we go. Turn that on. And go up the grab lift. Actually, I need these grenades first. There we go. Up the grab lift. Oh, good. There's an enemy on a ghost there. That's good. That's very handy for us. Hit the button. Skip the cutscene. Before you destroy this, guys, make sure you go to your map and select the other one. It's going to make it easier to get to. And we're going to destroy this by throwing that grenade in there and jumping out. And we're going to find that enemy ghost. Where is he? Not that ghost. This one. There it is. Jump on board. And get out of here for now. And it's really important, guys, that you find this cliff here. Um, I can't open the map right now. Hang on. I'll try and open the map. That's where we are. All right. Pause the screen there if you need to. Find this map and uh, find that part of the map, this cliff. And we want to stay on this higher level in order to get safely and quickly to the other uh, gun battery. And we're just going to, oops, 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 try and drive a bit better than I do. But yeah, we want to stay on this level in order to get to this gun battery without having to go the long way up the mountain on this other side. Something I forgot to mention earlier in all the uh, hustle and bustle is that once you blow up one of the, uh, the cores, you need to then... Uh, leave straight away. Now you can go down once you get to this point, once you see the uh, uh, the gun battery there. This is where you need to go. So just follow my path here, guys. And once we get in here, I'm going to leave this on the bridge so I know where to find it. Wait, did I go too far? That's the wrong bridge. I left it on the wrong bridge, but we can go up this way. That's fine. The grab lift for me has always been on already. And I'm going to go straight for it. Up we go. As long as you're playing on easy, that should be no problems. If you're playing on a harder difficulty, you may need to take out some more of the enemies uh, before you do that. Let's, uh, oops, wrong button. Skip this uh, cutscene. Oh, I'm going to have to use a gun for this. I don't have one of those grenades. There we go. Make sure you leave straight away. I'm going to find that bridge that I left my ghost on. There it is. And there is the achievement popping already. I wasn't sure if it was going to pop there uh, because I have been having achievement problems. But there it is. We did it in under 20 minutes. And your next objective is now to get back to the pelican. I thought it might not pop until you get there. But there we go. That is the Gunrunner achievement, guys. Hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Especially if you want to follow my 100% all collectibles guide. All the different types of collectibles available in one playthrough. I've got a guide on how to do it uh, currently running on the channel. So make sure you check that out if that interests you. Thanks again, guys. There's the bell. You know what that means. 
Class Dismissed.